welcome back to my channel. I am Diva Smessy, in case you don't already know. And in today's video, I'm going to be introducing this hair by Love Me Hair to you guys. All right, so I'm just showing you the package, showing you everything that comes in the box. We have some lashes, we have earrings, and then the wig, the style of the show. So guys, this wig is the realistic Afro kinky edges that has been going on. It's the 4C edges. It's been going viral. I've been seeing it a lot. So this is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. So what's exciting so much about this week for me is you can do a lot of hairstyles without tampering with your own real edges, right? So you can go ahead to style it different ways without tampering with your edges. All right, so just peep into that edges. Just see how it looks. This is how it came right from the box. This is what is given. I went ahead to put it on a mannequin head just to kind of show you what it's given. And then I'm going to go ahead to pluck the wig just a little bit. Just, I just wanted to kind of, you know mimic my own hairline and just kind of be my own preference so you don't really have to do so much to this week because as you can see it comes pre-bleached and it comes pre-plucked but i just want to do it to my own liking a bit so i went ahead to pluck i didn't pluck out much because if you even look at it you might not even see any difference i didn't pluck out much all right so i'm going to go ahead with my spray bottle and a bit of anti jackie's lala koi lala right i'm gonna go ahead with that and just apply that to the wig then brush it out just to bring out those juicy curls so if you look at the wig you will see that the texture from the edges and the texture on the wig looks a bit different as you're looking at it but the truth is that when you go ahead to style it it kind of just blends right in actually blends so well you're gonna see how i kind of put that together it's gonna make sense all right so I have all the details of this week linked in the description box. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start installing this wig. I'm going to make this install very easy and very simple. We're not going to be doing the board cap method. I'm just getting my own edges out of the way so we can get in tune with this wig edges. I'm just putting on foundation. I don't know why I put foundation in the middle because I thought I was going to be doing a middle part, but I didn't do a middle part. So I'm just, that foundation was just a waste. But I'm using my alcohol to clean my I'm going to place my wig, have that very clean and no oil, no dirt, so the wig can stick on properly. So I'm going to go ahead to put on the wig now and this is what we're having. So with this install, I actually went ahead to cut the lace first because I just want to see what the wig was giving. I want to see what I was working with before I went ahead to glue it down. to do a little bit of plucking for my own preference just to get what i like i don't like my edges to be too full at the front but if that's what you're going for i mean why not whatever works for you works for you so i'm gonna head cut that and um, cut my lace off and baby if you know love me hair if this is not the first time you're seeing love me hair you know their lace it will always give it will always melt so one thing for sure is you can go ahead to wear this week glueless you can go ahead to rock it glueless this is what i'm just showing you like it melts baby it melts like it does everything it needs to do so if you want to go ahead to wear the wig glueless the way the elastic band has been placed at the back you can absolutely go ahead to wear the wig glueless i'm going to do a quick install just using my ebbing wonder lace spray have that you know sprayed down i did three layers actually i'm always now doing three layers it just works better for me and it's a lot more stronger i do three to four layers but three most of the time four layers if i just wanted to you know but three layers and it gets the job done
So while we've tied down our install, we're letting that sit for some minutes. I'm gonna go ahead with my spray bottle once again, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and comb that juicy curls so they come out and then i'm gonna go ahead and style the wig all right so that's what i'm doing i'm just making sure i style the wig i decided to go with a side part i don't know i wanted to go with a middle part when i started but for some reason i said okay let's do side let's just do side and see what what it will give right so i went ahead to do a side part so i'm gonna go ahead and take the elastic band off and baby just look at that melt the melt is always incredible. I always love the melt. But I don't know, for some reason, this um, Ebon Wonder Lace was given shiny. I don't know what I did wrong with this install. It gave, right? But it just was giving a bit of shine, and I don't like that. So I don't know what I did wrong. I'm trying to still figure that out. But everything is giving what it's meant to give. It's actually well laid, and I love that. Like, lace wear lace wear all right so i'm just gonna go ahead with my foundation brush and just kind of blend that in so the white thing at the back of my hand is a mousse i'm just using that to kind of blend the edges the way i would like it so you can go ahead to slick these edges back all right you can go ahead to play around with it to see how it works for you all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and play around with it. I'm just styling it. I just want to see what works best for me. And then I'm going to go ahead with my foundation and just define that part very well. And look at those edges, guys. Like, you're literally seeing those edges. It looks exactly like my natural edges. It looks like my natural hairline, and I love it. So we did a side part, but I just wanted to see what this wig would give when it was, like, packed to the back. So I decided to do half up, half down. And I really loved the outcome, actually. I really, I was glad I actually did style it this way because I was, I, I really loved how it came out. So I'm just going to go ahead to brush the hair back and take a bit of the hair up and leave some down. This was not like technically styling, styling. We didn't make it like so, should I say nice? But I just wanted to see what the style would give. I didn't kind of pay attention to how much I put up and how much I put down, okay? But this is what the wig looks like taken back to. I just want to try different styles with this wig. And that's the fact with this wig. You can actually go ahead to try different styles and whatever works for you, all right? So you can style it as you want, whatever works for you, however you want to style it, and it will come out amazing okay so lovelies that's really it for this video thank you so much for watching to the end of this video and if you've watched the end of this video you already know you're the what you already know you're the real mvp thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video love you Mwah.